Tali Style and today I am so excited to share with you a Gucci unboxing. So I'm sure you might have seen my other video featuring my Gucci Marmol belt and I absolutely adore that belt. I've been able to wear it with so many things and it's kind of made me obsessed with the Gucci brand. So I wanted to pick up something else, something a little bit bigger, something a little bit more exciting. So I ordered this a few days ago and I used the shipping in Canada. It was $40, which was kind of a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but there weren't any duty fees and it came in under two, three days. So it comes wrapped like this. Of course, it came in a big brown box, which I kind of appreciated because it didn't say Gucci on the outside. There wasn't really anything giving away the fact where it came from, which could be a little bit nerve wracking, but inside uh, was this beautiful packaging and there was also an envelope that kind of had your receipt and your purchase and inside it was wrapped perfectly like this. So if you're thinking about ordering online, especially in the states where shipping is free, I wouldn't have any hesitation because you still get that beautiful gift wrapped experience. So the box is really simple, it's just black and white, very elegant and it has this bow. I don't really want to ruin the bow so I'm just going to kind of flip it off to the side very carefully. Okay. Just gonna remove it like this. And the second one. It's this nice ribbon. It has Gucci on the name. So inside, just like my Marmon belt, it's the same kind of box. It's magnetic, so it kind of goes like this. And inside we have the tissue paper with the Gucci sticker. I kind of want to keep it like so, so I'm gonna very carefully take out my purchase from inside. So, it has a weird smell, it's like very chemical-like. Anyways, I'm just gonna put this tissue very carefully back, just so I can store my purchase away. So here we have the dust bag. So it's the same kind of satin dust bag with the Gucci um, gross grain kind of ribbon thing going on here. Inside, oh okay. Um, it's wrapped in this kind of foam, so I'm sure you can probably guess that I did purchase a bag. So it has this protective foam, which is kind of nice when you think it's being transported from New Jersey to Toronto. So it has this protective foam here. And, oh, I showed the back first. Here it is. So I ended up picking the Gucci Marmont shoulder bag. Now there is the mini, mini camera bag version, and this is the shoulder bag, so this is the small size. There's also one upsize that's a little bit more taller, but it doesn't have the chevron uh, quilting throughout. But I really like the size of this one. I thought it was a happy medium. I think it can fit quite a lot in here. And definitely the price was right. So it comes with this kind of foam. Oh, okay, so the straps are kind of separated, so I'm just gonna take off that foam now. So we have part one of the straps. And then part two, I'm just gonna take this off. This one came off a lot easier. So one of the reasons why I bought the shoulder bag style is because it is um, adjustable. And I'm a tall girl, but sometimes it would be nice to just wear it not as a crossbody, but just as a shoulder bag. So I can kind of make it shorter, make it longer if I wanna wear crossbody. So it's a lot more versatile. Now the strap kind of reminds me of the Gucci belt. It has this little grommet here that you put in. So I'm just gonna put it to the medium length. I might adjust that later. It's very tough leather. There we go. The bag I purchased is the Gucci Marmont shoulder bag. So there is also a mini version, the mini camera bag, but I wanted something that was kind of in between that and the larger size. And I think that this size is absolutely perfect. The color I purchased online is called taupe. Now there is a lot of confusion about the colors of this kind of nudie, pinky kind of bag. There is nude, there is porcelain rose, there is taupe, and there is even the color beige. Now it depends on what website you're on, but on the Canadian website, I think there are four different colors for what looks to me to be the same bag. Over in the corner there, I have superimposed both the nude and the taupe, and to me it looks pretty much the same color. I don't know, I think this whole color name thing is very confusing, and it's really hard. I even called customer service and I asked, I'm like, look, in store I saw this bag in porcelain rose and I love the color, 
but online the color is listed as taupe. Now, can you tell me, is there a difference? Are they the same? And they said, oh, if it's different colors, it's probably different. But going back to the store, I'm pretty sure that they are the same color. It's just very confusing, and I hope that maybe Gucci can work towards fixing that and kind of making sense of the whole thing. So online, this is the taupe color, but if you are looking for porcelain rose or maybe even nude, it might be worth just going in store and making sure you buy the right color you want. Me personally, I don't think there's a difference in color. I think they're all the same. It's this kind of nude, pink, kind of gray. It has like a bit of a purple undertone. I really like this color because it's a little different. I have lots of pink bags. I have lots of black bags, but there's just something about this that is very luxurious and very unique. I think this is also a signature Gucci color. I don't see any brands with this kind of coloring, so that's kind of why I wanted to get it. Now, there is some concern about color transfer, but I actually went onto YouTube and looked at a lot of videos of girls that had the same color bag, and I asked them, I'm like, look, like, has your bag had any color transfer yet? And they haven't said anything, and no one said, oh yeah, my bag is ruined, so that kind of put me at ease, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I picked this color. One of the aspects I really liked about is this gold hardware. It kind of looks more like a brass, and it's very matte and brushed and it's really beautiful. And it also has the same on the Gucci Gigi as well. Inside this bag, there is a lot of space. I'm definitely able to fit my vlogging camera, my cell phone, my wallet, like no problems. And that's one of the reasons why I picked the shoulder bag over the mini camera. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing and first impressions video of the Gucci Marmo shoulder bag. I'm absolutely in love with this bag and I cannot wait to wear it. I'm sure in the next coming months I'll be sharing ways to wear it and sharing more blog posts on my blog, natalieass.com. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe.